Hello! Let's go through a brief overview of some of the exciting new features and enhancements available in Jamf Pro 11.15. With the release of Jamf Pro 11.15 comes an update to icons across the interface. Icons on many different pages are now easier to see in both light and dark mode and better match the style of Jamf Pro 11. Pages with updated icons include settings, policies, configuration profiles, and more. Jamf Pro 11.15 introduces a new service called Blueprints, available in the sidebar. Blueprints simplify the creation of complex workflows to ensure devices meet a particular state. Because Blueprints utilize declarative device management, administrators can create configurations with modular settings all in one location. Devices are able to apply management settings and proactively update Jamf Pro with their status changes, resulting in faster status updates. Requirements to use Blueprints include Jamf Pro hosted in standard or premium cloud. Blueprints are not available for premium cloud plus, state ramp, GovCloud, and on-premises servers. Another requirement is single sign-on, or SSO, turned on in Jamf Pro, and managed in Jamf account. After SSO is configured, log out of Jamf Pro and log in using SSO to continue with the Blueprints feature. There are two options for creating Blueprints, Quick Start Templates or the Blueprint Builder. Templates available in Jamf Pro 11.15 include passcode policies, disk management settings, calculator and related math settings, Safari extensions, and service and background task configuration. Click Open to select a template or click Create Blueprint to use the Blueprint Builder. Using the Blueprint Builder, enter a name and description, then click Create. Blueprints can be scoped to static or smart groups by clicking Open under Scope. Select the checkbox for one or more groups to include them in the scope of this blueprint, then click Save. To add management settings to a blueprint, drag components from the library on the right to the declaration group on the left. Icons on each component indicate which types of devices are affected, so administrators may want to create separate blueprints for different devices. Move the cursor over an added component and click Configure to make changes to its management settings. Once settings are configured, click Save. Back in the Blueprint Builder, Click Deploy, and the management settings are applied to devices in scope. If any components are added or modified, a banner appears at the top to notify administrators about undeployed changes. Click Deploy again to apply those changes. Another service to be released in a future version of Jamf Pro, called Compliance Benchmarks, appears in the sidebar of Jamf Pro 11.15 as Compliance Readiness. Compliance Benchmarks will be a new service that simplifies the process by which Jamf Pro ensures devices are compliant with security benchmarks. This service has the same requirements as Jamf Pro Blueprints, so the Compliance Readiness page acts as a prerequisite check. If requirements are not met, a page appears with instructions on how to be ready for Compliance Benchmarks. Otherwise, a green checkmark appears with the message, You're all set! In Jamf Pro 11.15, administrators who would like to restrict external processing of Apple intelligence requests can do so with new restrictions for computers and mobile devices. For computer configuration profiles with the restrictions payload configured, these can be found in the Functionality tab. To prevent users from using Apple intelligence to summarize notes, Scroll down to find Allow Apple Intelligence, Notes Transcription Summary, and deselect the checkbox. Next, locate Allow Apple Intelligence, External Intelligence Workspace IDs. To grant users access to an organization's specific third-party AI service sandbox or workspace, select the checkbox, then enter the workspace ID assigned by the AI service. In a mobile device configuration profile containing the restrictions payload, the same restrictions can be found in the Functionality tab. Scroll down to find the Apple Intelligence restrictions and select Restrict for Notes Transcription Summary. 
The second restriction can be used by entering the workspace ID assigned by the AI service in the Apple Intelligence Allowed External Intelligence Workspace IDs field. One Apple Intelligence restriction that's unique to mobile devices is the Visual Intelligence Summary. This feature allows users to use their iPhone to take a picture, then use Apple Intelligence to read text, determine their location, and look up information about it to return a summary. This might be considered a security issue, and administrators can restrict access to this feature by clicking Restrict. In addition to these, one more restriction is available further up in the Functionality tab, Satellite Connection. This allows iPhones that may not have Wi-Fi or cellular reception to connect to a satellite for emergency services. Since this network is public, not private, it could be considered a security risk. To prevent someone from making satellite connections, click Restrict. On certain newer iPhone models and versions of iOS, two new panes appear in Setup Assistant to help users configure the action and camera buttons on supported devices. Administrators may wish to skip these panes and can do so by configuring the Skip Setup Items payload of a mobile device configuration profile. Use the switches for Skip Action button and Skip Camera button to ensure they don't appear during Setup Assistant. These can also be skipped in the General section of a mobile device pre-stage enrollment. Scroll down to Setup Assistant options, locate Action button and Camera button, then select the checkbox for one or both panes to ensure they don't appear during Setup Assistant. That's all for our quick overview of some of the new features introduced in Jamf Pro 11.15. Be sure to visit the Jamf Pro release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub at learn.jamf.com for requirements and details about the features we've covered and to review all of the exciting updates in this version. Thanks for watching.